Street, I think. Eighth in Arch. Big thing coming up this weekend. The Keystone Comic Con's coming to town. Now, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not a fan of comic books. I'm not a fan of science fiction. I'm not a fan of fantasy. But, I am a fan of fun. And every time I see a Comic Con, I go, boy, oh boy, does that look fun. So today is Wednesday. The Comic Con starts Friday. They allowed me to get a press pass. Captain Reporter is back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to interview anybody and everybody. Today's Wednesday. So tomorrow I'm going to stay in, research everybody, and I'm going to have at least four questions for anybody who will let me ask them questions. I figure four is enough. If you see the GoPro setup, uh, they, they don't, they don't want to... That nobody wants to talk to me. So, uh, and also, I really don't know who I want to talk to. One person I want to talk to is Tommy Dreamer, ECW icon, wrestling legend. Uh, he has a show coming up at the ECW Arena. I don't care if it's called the 2300 Arena. It will always be the ECW Arena to me. Uh, so, uh, I, I'm going to see if I can set that up. If I can't set that up, uh, he's number one. Number two is Daryl from Run DMC. When I was a little boy, the first cassette tape I ever had was Run DMC Raising Hell. It had curse words. And this is before it had parental advisory on the thing. So my mom and dad didn't know until after they bought it for me. Ha ha. And uh, there was someone else. Oh, a horror from uh, Nichelle Nichols. I'm going to talk to her, not about Star Trek, but about the episode of Drunk History, where they talk about how... Uh-uh. Alright. That just happens. So, uh, I'm going to talk to Nichelle Nichols. You know, I should find out what their names are. And if you have somebody, I'm going to have a link in the description to the Keystone Comic Con. If there is an artist or at anybody that you want me to talk to. Uh, I'm going to be there for three days. I'm going to be there as much as I possibly can. I'm going to a party on Friday to see the Roddenberries. They're a science fiction, not science fiction. They are a Star Trek tribute band. I want to see if I can impress them with the fact that I know Spock. Quiet before the storm. Here we are, Keystone Comic Con. I bet you I'm the first reporter here. Wednesday. Thing doesn't seem to start till Friday. That's pretty cool. Alright, see what else we find out. So I've been walking around for about 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, there's not many people here. Uh, I found one guy, so we're gonna. This is where I saw WrestleMania access, where uh, there was like a, a wrestling party and uh, a concert. It was right before WrestleMania 15. Um, it's pretty cool. So that's the only time. Oh, I went to a car show here. The room. Vince McMahon once stood up there, and uh, DX was over there. This is the room where I saw uh, the WrestleMania access. Fat Joe played here. Isaac Hayes. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I never thought I'd... And then it was $80 and they sure served a Chef Boyardee. Boy, oh boy. That's crazy. And I thought this was part of the wrestling set. It's not. It's part of the thing. That's cool. Christmas time and I'll buy City Hall. Let's play a game. Watch people fall. Oh. Not yet, young villain. Very soon. People will be ice skating and falling, and we will be laughing. Uh, I might have something coming up at Christmas time where I'm going to be doing a Christmas tour where we see all the Christmas stuff. Ooh, Finn Balor, there he is. Honestly, if I was going to do the splash pool here, I would just walk 
three blocks to go to the sister parks pool because uh, it's a pool. You can get wet better. Uh, <laughs> uh, now my flip flops are squeaking great. Ooh, the black Israelites out now. Overrated. Not all white people like. I, I never said it's so cute. That is a great idea to get married there. I never oh, even right. thought about that. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Captain. I don't know. I know. Well, oh, oh, that's right, Elvis. Oh, I don't know, hon. We got me and you might have to talk about that. I didn't even know that was a possibility. That's awesome. Everybody out singing a song. Does this historical marker belong? Hershey's. Oh, let me try that again. Hershey's first candy store, Milton Hershey. I ain't going to say that mill name. Opened his first candy business here on June 1st, 1876, at 18 years of age. The confectionery shop produced and sold candies, nuts, and baked goods. Although initially successful, credit issued lead oh credit issues led to its closure. Undeterred, Hershey founded the Lancaster Ca Carmel Company. Not Camel Company, that would be silly. In 1886, in which he became ex which became extremely profitable. Established as a subsidiary of that company, Hershey Chocolate Company achieved international success. So the first Hershey store was here. That belongs. Next to the Hershey Kisses thing, there's a little piece of work from uh, Isaiah Zargar. Oh, there's two. There's one more stop I want to see. There's a new mural I want to check out. Uh, I want to point out to uh, John Thomas. Thank you. Uh, at, uh, at Oxford Street and Front Street. Oxford and Front, there's the Honey Grow Test Kitchen. There's this new mural by uh, at Jess Paints. And it's of Anthony Bourdain. Everybody out singing this song. Does this historical marker belong? Robert Boggle. 
Bogle, Boggle. I know the black hater, Boggle, Bogle, opened a posh eatery at this location in 1813. Recognized for his popular meat pies, he was well known as the master of ceremonies of elaborate weddings, funerals, and banquets for his wealthy clients. No! This does not belong. 